easy to see the development of downtown Kansas City, but can most people afford to live there? Now new at 10, there are concerns about affordable, what affordable is being defined as here in Kansas City. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall live at the site for the future three light apartments with more. Dia? Guys, this is where Cordish's next high rise project, Three Light, is supposed to go. And they're promising affordable rent for some of those units. But quite a few people on the city council are questioning what's affordable. What qualifies as affordable housing in Kansas City? When I went through the city codes and ordinances, we don't actually have a clear legal definition of what affordable housing is. According to Cordish, the company behind Power and Light and the One Light and Two Light projects, it's $1,870 a month. I think the thought process is that if you want to live downtown, that comes at a premium. This isn't on Cordish. This is actually on Kansas City. The company says the median household income is just under $75,000 a year. 30% of that? is $1,875 a month. There's no way that $75,000 is workforce housing. The U.S. Census reports the median household income in Jackson County in 2016 was $48,000 a year. 30% of that is $1,200 a month, two-thirds of what Cordish calls affordable. Councilman Quentin Lucas plans to propose a resolution where the city sets how those rates are determined. What I'm trying to do with this legislation is to make sure that when we have the next development, the next business, we've defined in advance what affordable means so that somebody's not saying a 14, 15, $1,600 a month unit actually counts for affordable housing and instead we're looking at something that's 600, 500 that more people in our community can afford. He wants to be clear. This is not us saying that every developer needs to go out and put in a percentage of affordable housing. What we're saying if, is if the city is going to invest tens of millions of dollars into your project, then you got to do something in exchange. Mayor Sly James says the city would be negligent not to honor its contract with Cordish. He adds there are over 6,000 affordable units here downtown, and the city has spent millions of dollars on affordable housing in other parts of the city. Lucas still plans to introduce that ordinance next week. Live in Kansas City, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Okay.